guys, what's up? Fun fact, I saw Echo Smith at Warp Tour and it was before they got big. There was probably only like about 20 people. I just thought that was really cool. Say hi. Hello. I am gonna go run some errands. I got to do an exchange at Peco. I did wanna answer some of your questions that I've been putting off because I keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. These bangs have been saving my life. I haven't done my eyebrows in like forever. It's like is working out really well for me. I think today is going to be a very productive day, so let's see how it goes. Rubber dog boots. They're way too small on boots. Hey guys, I know it's a little early for Halloween, but how cute are these costumes? Oh my gosh, I could imagine little Boo wearing this. He would honestly tear this up. He <laughs> He would think this is a toy. Okay guys, I came to the mall and look at this. this is the cutest thing ever. They have a Mickey. Oh my at this. I like seriously can't right now. I think I'm gonna like buy everything. How adorable. I need help. Please send help. Please send help. I found so many cute things. When I'm not looking for something, I find everything. And when I'm really trying to look for something, I can't find squat. I'm gonna do a haul for you guys later on. Halloween rules, wear a costume, visit a haunted house, carve a jack-o'-lantern, eat candy, brew some fun, tell ghost stories, stay up late, be scary, greet a ghost, Trick or treat. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, ooh so soft. Woo! Okay, I think I'm done for today. I got a whole bunch of new things, so I'm gonna show you guys once I get home. I'm still gonna answer your questions. <gasps> so many treats! She hides her snack. <laughs> this is Boo's bed, by the way, if you couldn't tell by that little Frenchie. But she tries to hide her snacks, and then Boo, he always eats their leftovers. Oh gosh, as soon as she's not looking, he's gonna eat it. You better eat it now, mama. Oh, there you go, good girl. Oh no, she's still trying to hide it. There goes the Boo. Hands down, one of my favorite absolute drinks is lemon, well, I guess this wouldn't be lemonade, limonade <laughs> with chia seeds. I just love how good they are for you. They're organic superfood. Look, they have fiber, protein, omega-3, and they taste like nothing. These, these things are amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some lemonade, limonade? Limonade. Okay, so I'm gonna answer questions that you guys have left me on my Instagram. And I picked a couple that I thought were really good. Ooh, these look like they're gonna be super juicy. <laughs> What's wrong with me? How do you start a YouTube channel from the ground up? So the way I started my YouTube channel was I believe now two years ago, 2016, and I would upload constantly every week. So what I would recommend is for you to stick to a schedule, something that you know you could stick to. If it's once a week, twice a week, once a month, whatever you can do, just try to make something consistent. You just want to always be really clear with your audience. Ooh. So that would probably be my best advice is just to stick to a schedule. Your audience is going to come, whoever likes to watch you is going to watch you. So you don't have to worry about like um, those haters or people who aren't going to like you. And that actually brings me to my next question that I got. But what are you doing? How do you block out people that are hating you for your past? Um, if someone is judging you for your past, then they probably aren't like the right friends or the right people that you need to be hanging out with. We're all human, we're constantly growing. Like I know I am definitely not the same person I was like six months ago. Humans were constantly growing and evolving and if someone is insisting and in staying in the past, then you could just kind of leave them in the past and you just focus on your future. So if someone calls you insensitive because you don't want to talk about your past because you're not there anymore, 
Look at these, what is this? This is not a tricep. I don't know what this is, but this looks cool. I'm like double jointed. They don't understand that you're not the same person and you're just trying to live a better life. Then they just don't understand. And that's sadly going to be a lot of people in your life. Like, they might be in a different mindset than you are and that's okay. They just aren't your people right now. Are you in school or working? No, I am not in school. I am working. I work for myself. Honestly, love it. I've always known that I wanted to work for myself. Being your own boss, yes, you get to make the rules, but that means you are responsible for your money. Constantly getting up, even if you're having a hard day, you gotta just grind through it. I personally love it, but I know it might not be for everybody. How to be a YouTuber. Look at all this lime we squeezed out. This is going to be the most vague answer, but this is true. If you want to be a YouTuber, you have to make content. Whatever your thing is, you have to start filming it. Just put it up. I know it's so scary. Like, if you look back at my very first video, which makes me cringe, you can tell how nervous I am. But it only gets better. The best time to start is now. So if you want to be a YouTuber, go for it. What made you want to do ASMR videos on YouTube? It's my brother, I saw that he was making them and at first I wasn't like really sure what that was. But once I actually found out what it was and what it stood for, like it was to help people with anxiety and to help people with depression, it was really heartwarming to find other people who, was, who were going through the same things and could understand and could relate. And the fact that I could actually like communicate with someone through a video and help them feel good it was just the best feeling ever and that's why i really stuck with it and i just love asmr it has truly changed my life how do you promote patreon this is why my mother needs new couches because you think you're a cat what are you doing so i promote my patreon through my asmr channel i have a lot of asmr content on my patreon so it just makes sense, like the people who are looking for ASMR, the people who dig me, dig my stuff, they can easily find it through there. But if you want to promote anything, honestly, just do it through your social media. Any social media that you may have, whether it be Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you have, YouTube channel, you want to promote yourself everywhere you can because that's where your audience is. They're going to follow you and they're going to support you if they want to if they want to see you grow, if they want to see your different sorts of content. Um, so honestly, just promote anywhere that you can. Just promote yourself. So that's all the questions I got. They were very good. And now I kind of want to show you guys real quick what I got. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little haul of everything I got today. And I honestly bought so much stuff. I was just gonna go in for an exchange and of course that didn't happen. Okay, so you guys already saw the little boots I got for Boo. Okay, so these are high rise skinnies from Forever 21. I just really needed a good pair of jeans. And honestly, these were very flattering on the cute. I really need jeans. I'm gonna go up to Oregon next week. So I'm gonna need some jeans. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I absolutely love wearing these sort of pants. I'm actually wearing some today. I just love, love, love casual pants that you could just throw on. I just love being comfortable. And I found these cute trousers. They're like a pale pink. They're like high-waisted. They're just so nice. I've been looking for some nice high-waisted tapered, um, what are these called again? I just said the word. The trousers. Ooh. <laughs> Your girl was feeling herself in this. It's like a nice lacy top. It's a leotard, so it buttons down in the bottom. Oh, it's like inside out, excuse me, but it is so cute on. And with the trousers, oh my gosh, it was everything. I think I actually posted a picture on IG. So this one is also another leotard. Kind of has like a high neck, it's like sort of flowy at the bottom, but it like tightens on your waist so it's like really cute and flattering your girl needs a new hair bun thing so i got a new hair bun thing came with bobby pins hair ties and this was only four dollars like this is such a steal i got some nose cleansing strips because your girl got a lot of pores Ooh, okay so accessories i got some new earrings how cute are these i always go for like hoops i just love the whole gold and hoops and like 
I just love this look. So I got that on sale because it was missing too and the guy was nice enough to give me 50% off. So I used my Bubba Gum Shrimp Cup and look, this spoon was not designed for this cup. Like it's just not. <laughs> look at all that sugar in the bottom. Oh my gosh, my life. There we go. 